hello guys thank you so much for tuning into this video a uh, thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't please make sure that you do this is the paper that we're looking at paper 13 and i'll make sure to leave a link to it in the description below so that you can download it but for now uh, please bear with me let's just go through this paper so this paper 13 let me just zoom in so that you can clearly see it so this is the paper that we want to look at paper 13 as you can see here so yeah so let's start number one says a um, which car goes last so we are looking at the car that goes last we have three cars we have car c car b and car a i hope this is very uh, clear so let me just make sure that i can zoom in some more now hope you can see these three cars car a e car b and car c although the diagram is a little shady but anyways um i hope you can see it now we have car a car b and car c now we can use the mm. the road rule which says that uh, at a traffic a uh, roundabout uh, you give way to cars that are already circulating or the car that is uh, to your extreme right now looking at this question a look at this diagram you can see that cars that are already circulating we have car c and car b which means car a is giving the right of way to cars that are already circulating which is car b and car c so which car is the last to go on this one is definitely car a because it is the car that is giving the right of way to cars that are already circulating so uh, the, the car that has not entered the, the the roundabout is the last car here that is going to go so car A is the last car to go because it is the car that is not entered the roundabout. I hope you got that. Now let me zoom out so that you can look at number two. Now number two, which car goes last? We have car C, car B, and car A here. Now we can see that car C will give the right foot to car B because uh, the Zimbabwean road rule one says a uh, keep all left keep your left and give the right of way to car that is coming from your right so at this traffic uh, at this uh, traffic uh, intersection you see that car c will give the right of way to car b and car b will give the right of way to car uh, what car a now this question is asking which car is the is the last to go so we know that definitely car a is the first to go so a uh, car a is the first to go then which car is the last to go is going to be car b why because when car a goes first car c will take advantage it cars in the same road they move at the same time right so as you can see as car a, a goes the oncoming car c will what will take advantage and it will go a, it will turn right soon after the word car a why does it turn right soon after car because also another road rule which says you cannot turn right in front of oncoming traffic so definitely car c will not turn right in front of oncoming car a so with that being said we start with car a then car c will take advantage and it will come soon after car a then the last car to go will be car b so which car goes last our correct answer here is b i hope you got that Number three, class one drivers applicant must be of age. Is this 16 years, 17 years in defensive and or 25 and medical, medical fit? I'm sure they wanted to say medical fit here. But let me tell you something about class one. Class one is for uh, public service vehicles like our buses. So uh, you need to be 25 years old and medical fit. So they need to make sure that you you are old enough to to care for the what for the lives of the people and not to drive recklessly that is why you need to be 25 years and you are medically fit which means that there is no condition medical condition with you that would hinder you from driving uh, the driving the the people from a to b uh, uh, safely so that's why so i i was just explaining so that you can clearly understand that one anyways uh, let's move on to number um, four the correct sequence of a robot is green red ember red green ember or a red ember green so 
um, the way I used to remember this, I used the mnemonic GA uh, G A R. So I just try to find a a sequence that will give me that a G A R is even though I'm not I will not be starting with the G A R. If I, even if I start with A R, then I'll go back to what to you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I start with the G and then there is R here, this R will give it away, which means that this one is wrong. G R A. This one is wrong. Now let's look at number two. R G A. Now, as you can see on these three sequences, we don't have G A R specifically. But what we're gonna be looking at, we're gonna be looking at G A R within that A one of these sequences. Now let's look at this. R G A. Can we start with the G A R? Did you see that G A R? But if for here we cannot say G A A R because it's G R A for option A. Now for option B it's a G A R. That will give us our mnemonic ga G A R. So this one will make this correct. This is the, our correct answer here. I really hope you got that. Uh, but, but if you don't, please just make sure that you uh, let me know in the comment section so that I will do a separate video on this one. Uh, so, anyways, that was it. Now let's look at why this one is wrong. Now, remember we're starting with the G, G R A, which makes it wrong. G R A. We are looking for G A R. So that's that's it. Anyways, I hope we got that. Now number five. Yeah, this sign I must, as you can see, this sign is not uh, shown clearly. But as, as you can see, this is a steep descent sign. So this is a steep descent sign. So what are you supposed to do at this sign? Option A, engage brakes continuously. Engage lower gear, engage higher gear. So at this sign, you engage lower brakes. Lower gear, I mean lower gear. So in, uh, the correct answer for a steep descent sign is engage lower gear. Uh, I've explained this before, but uh, why engage lower gear is because at a lower gear the car will move slowly. Yes, of course, uh, this sign you can brakes, you can engage brakes continuously. Some will think that this is a good answer, but at um at a, at this sign when you are uh, or a steep descent what you do you engage lower gear because when the car is in lower gear it will have more power and low speed so what that means is that the car move at a certain lower speed it cannot move above a certain higher speed so that lower gear will become the restricting the movement of the car if the car go down here so i hope i've explained that very well now number six when traveling at uh, 60 kilometers per hour the reaction distance is now for this question you need to know your reaction distance your stepping distance yes and your braking distance you it does need to be in your fingertips especially when you're going for your exams you need to remember them and you need uh, you need to have them in your mouth and you need to uh, you just need to know them so in um, this the the, the 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 reaction distance when traveling at uh, at 60 kilometers per hour is 8.3 meters so this is our correct answer here so the correct answer for number six is b now number seven which motor vehicle cannot have a fair exchange is it a motorcycle or motor packed at home or registered motor traveling on the road so definitely this one should have a, a fire extinguisher definitely the registered motor vehicle a traveling on the road what about a motor parked at home this one can have a, a what a, a fire extinguisher because a motor parked at home can just uh, go out anytime anyway so definitely uh, even if it is parked at home it is also required to have a fire extinguisher because you never know who uh, the car may, may catch fire so you never know then a motorcycle then definitely cannot have a motor a fire extinguisher motorcycle so it's not required yes yeah, so that's the correct answer for number seven number eight that's a car diagram here yeah. so let's look at it which car is the right of foot so look at the car that is the right of way we have car a car b and car c 
Now, what we know from our road rules is that cars, car A you give the right way to car B and car B you give the right way to car C. So which car definitely has the right of way is going to be car C. So the correct answer for number 8 is A. Now just for the sake of learning, we can also uh, look at uh, which car is going second and which car is going third. Now as you can see, as soon as car uh, C goes first, car A will also uh, move second. Why? Because it will be taking advantage of what? Of car uh, C. So the last car to go will be car B. So if this question is to say which car is the last to go, it will be car B. So I really hope you understand that. Now for number nine, when entering a robot controlled intersection, you have already crossed the, the pedestrian crossing line. What, what must you do? Option A, stay where you are. B, turn to the left. C, reverse your vehicle. Now I'm going to explain why all these, why the correct answer is correct and why some are not necessarily correct. Anyways, uh, at this sign, what you should do, at this scenario, what you should do, you should stay where you are. So you stay away. So this is this is saying turn to the left. It doesn't make sense. If you turn to the left, so what? You have already crossed the what? The the pedestrian crossing line. This is saying reverse your vehicle. The reason why if you cannot reverse your vehicle when you have stopped at a, at a robot controlled intersection is because there is probably a vehicle that is behind you, and you are you don't have enough sight or enough. Um, what can I say? You may not actually know the, 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 the actual distance between uh, the rear of your vehicle and the front of the vehicle be, behind you. So reversing your vehicle it may be tricky. Uh, so at that point, you should not reverse your vehicle. So this one is incorrect. Actually, I should, let, me, let me erase that. So that's why reversing your vehicle is, is very dangerous because you whilst trying to reverse your vehicle you may hit the, the the car that is behind you so definitely no not this one so in that scenario you just stay where you are so that's our correct answer number 10 which vehicle does not have a reverse gear is it a combined harvest a motorcycle or a truck now this one is very simple this one is very simple it's a motorcycle a motorcycle cannot move into this uh, you just need to know this one and use a common mind but anyways, just imagine a motorcycle and how weird it will be if it is going in reverse. Anyways, that's the, that's the correct answer. Number 11. When you drive behind another vehicle at night. Option A. You put your headlights on, on but at high beam. On but at bright beam. Okay, let me read that again. You put your headlights on but at bright, at bright beam. A, B, you dim your head, headlights. C, which you switch off your headlights. So when you're driving behind another vehicle, you dim your headlights. Well, you can't switch off your headlights. Eh? So this one is very, very what? Was it at night? Eh? So you, you need your, headlight, your headlights on. So this one is very wrong. Again. Now, eh, this one is saying you push your headlights on but on bright beam. The reason why you cannot put your headlights on a bright beam is because that bright beam will, will touch or the, that too much light will touch the, the, the vehicle that is in front. So we don't want that. Eh, when I say touch, I mean that light will distract eh, the, the, the vision of the car that is in front. So you just put your, what, your headlights on what on low beam which is you dim your headlights now for number 12 which vehicle moves first we have a a car a car being car c which vehicle moves first so uh, looking at this one the vehicle that will move first is car a as you can see car c is already gone ahead so we are we are what we are not counting this one car c has already gone ahead he has already crossed this intersection so this car is not being a uh, we are not focusing on it then we have two cars left car b and car a now why did i say car a is the first car to go as you can see car b who is a car on its right which is car a so car b will give right away to car a 
so definitely the car you go first is car because this is on the right of car b so this is our correct answer here now number 13 when involved in a serious accident, option A, report to the hospital within 24 hours. B, report to the police immediately or within 24 hours. C, proceed with your journey if it is safe to do so. So, uh, this is a very serious accident, as you can see, serious accident. So, what you should do in this scenario is you report to the police immediately or within 24 hours. So when involved in serious accident, report to the police immediately within or within 24 hours. So this is our correct answer here. Now for number three, number 14. Number 14. Which car gives the right of way? I want you to understand this question. Which car gives the right of way? We are not looking for the car that has the right of way. We are looking for the car that gives the right of way. So car. A, you give the right of way to car B and car B will give the right of way to car C. Now, car C will move and car A will take advantage. Car C is the first one to move and car A will take advantage. Now, when car A will take advantage, you mean that the car that is giving the right of way is car B. So, the correct answer for number 14 is A, which is car B. Now, number um, 15 which car is breaking the law we have three cars here car c car a and car b now you can see that car c will give the right way to car a and car you give the right way to car a b now this question is asking which car will be breaking the law now i want you to look at this car c will give right way to car b and car c will give the right way to car a and car you give the right way to car b now as car b moves it you have to stop at the watch at the intersection just before it turns in front of oncoming traffic c so uh, the road rule says that you cannot turn right in front of oncoming traffic so definitely car b will not turn right in front of oncoming a uh, car c so this is the car that is breaking the law if it is to turn right in front of oncoming car c so the car that is bringing the law is car B. So that's it. So the correct answer for number 15 is B. Then number 16. How many traffic, how many classes of road signs do we have in Zimbabwe? Remember, we have what? We have five, right? 50, that would be insane. 50, that would be insane. So all this was just done to trick you. So this is our art our uh, yeah then number 17 which car gives the right of way we have car a and car b now i'm just looking at the car which one is on the right of which as you can see car b you give the right way to car a because car is on the right of car b so with that being said car b is the car that will give the right of way so the correct answer here is b a year is it in C, so this one just done to trick you, so don't mind it. So, yeah, this is our correct answer B number 17 is B. Now, for number 18, if you see an L plate displayed on vehicle in front of you, what do you do? Well, we know that an L plate means learning, right? A learner, so uh, what should you do? Option A increase speed and overtake. B reduce speed and drive cautiously. C put on hazards. So if you see a lane in front of you, what should you do? You, you reduce speed and drive cautiously. So so this is our correct answer. So the reason why increasing your speed and trying to overtake the lane as soon as possible is because uh, this is a lane. So the, their action uh, to any sudden or any sudden and the, any sudden action that they have not anticipated what will likely move a result in a, in an accident so reduce speed and exercise caution so that's the correct answer here then number 19 the correct answer here let's look let's look at our question at what distance do you put on reflective 
triangle is it 7.5 meters uh, 30 to 50 meters or 15 to 20 meters no this is pretty clear it's 30 to 50 meters that's the distance that you put on reflective try so then for number um, 20 which car is breaking the law we have three cars here car c car b and car a now as you can see car a you give right foot car a b now car c has already crossed the intersection because the arrows are pointing upwards and this one is going up so which means we are what we, we are removing car c from our options here yeah, so which means the option a is not an answer yes so the correct answer for this one will be car a which is option c so car a will be the car that will be breaking the law if it is to go ahead of car b because it, it should give the effect to car b so i hope you got that then we go to number 21 uh, what do you do when seeing this sign as you can see this is this is the sign that we have here we have a triangle here so this signifies that this is one is a danger warning sign so definitely at a danger warning sign you should reduce speed and exercise caution so as you can see that's we have a vehicle here and uh, we have a little flag here so uh, this sign is just a uh, warning the vehicle that they what there is a danger ahead so definitely reduce speed and exercise caution so that's our answer here then number 22 how many reflecting triangles does a load carrying trailers here is it two three or six so for this one we don't know how many trailers but uh, anyways we're just gonna uh, analyze our um, our answers because he's just saying carrying trailers yeah we don't know if, if it's two or three but a um, uh, two or three um two or three uh reflective triangles will be will, will be short or will, will not be enough for, for uh, two trailers so the only answer here is three uh, assuming that it, here it is saying two trailers so if it, it was only one trailer it could be saying carrying a trailer but here is two trailers so two trailers is six we need six reflective triangles then number 23 when traveling at 120 kilometers per hour what is the total stopping distance so uh, like i told you before you need to know your stopping distance for 120 kilometers per hour for 80 kilometers per hour and 60 kilometers per hour so this is something that you need to know uh, anyways uh, the total stopping distance for 120 kilometers per hour is 130 meters is 130 kilometers per hour so that's just be just be aware of that then number 24 when traveling at 15 kilometers per hour behind a vehicle you do not intend to overtake you leave a gap of is it three cars five cars or four cars or five cars so uh, we know that for a 15 kilometers per hour that you travel uh, you're supposed to leave a gap of one vehicle length so for 50 kilometers for 75 kilometers per hour you leave a gap of five cars so this is our correct answer here five a uh, broken white lines in conjunction with arrows yes option informative message regulatory effect and drivers must obey c danger warning sign so the co co the correct answer here is c broken a uh, white line in conjunction with arrow is regular effect and drivers must obey so that's it guys we've come to the end of our question paper uh, i hope this was uh, very helpful to you in every way so uh, please if this was helpful please make sure that you do subscribe and hit on that notification icon so that you'll be informed each time we make a new upload so i'll leave a link to this paper in the description below you can just go ahead and download it for yourself anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh, thank you so much for your support see you in our next video goodbye